Hello everybody, we're the Love of Mezcal, and today we're going to be trying Mesonte Tepe Antonio. So we first got to try this expression last year at Madre Restaurant. Um, I was really blown away by the taste after we had already been drinking quite a bit of copitas and the flavor was so mind-blowing. I couldn't compare it to anything else I had tried before with agave spirits. So um, we bought a bottle and it has been sitting and waiting for us to review it. And now's the time. Yep. So this is produced by Antonio Flores. Uh, the agave they use is Masparillo, but it is a mix of Bobby Cornuta and Maximiliana. It was cooked in an underground oven. It was crushed by machete over wood, fermented in pine wood vats with spring water, and it was distilled in a wooden still with a copper serpentine. Uh, something really cool about Mezonte, um, they are a brand that seeks out producers predominantly in Jalisco and Michoacan and um, they're looking to highlight um, spirits that are regional for those producers and bringing them over to the United States for us to try. Um, definitely look into the brand if you haven't tried them yet. I feel like we've tried Two, or, two three. or three other of their expressions and all of them have been very different because their one we had was from Michoacan, another one we had was Adraicia and that one I remember being very like savory and just very unique. So if you're looking for something different to try, highly recommend you to go and seek out this brand. So the ABV for this one is 51%. Uh, this is a 45 liter batch that was produced in 2020. And this is an exclusive batch that was picked by Ivan from Madre Restaurant. Uh, I checked online and they still have some bottles. So if you're looking to purchase this for yourself at this time, you can do so. Smell. Yeah. Oh. That is uh, funky. It smells like wintergreen. Yeah. Sharp and piercing so typically when from off of memory if we ever say funky for me it's usually like a cheesy funk this is not cheesy this is like almost like a fruity funk but not that sweet for me this smells very clean and refreshing and bright um like wintergreen mints. It smells refreshing to me. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, to me it smells like warm and funky. Okay. I don't know how else to put it. Want to taste? Yep. Salsita. Salsita. Minty. It kind of tastes like juice. <laughs> it's so minty. It's juicy for me. You don't get any mint? I'm getting like sharpness probably from the ethanol, but I am getting like some type of fruit juice. This tastes so refreshing and bright. Oh, now I'm feeling the heat come in. Oh, that 51% is coming up now. I can feel it in my chest. But for me, it tastes very minty and bright. Okay, so it sound weird. This has a very it's almost like if you made an Arnold Palmer with like a jasmine tea or like a green tea. So like a lemonade tea? Like a lemonade tea is kind of what I'm getting from this. So I guess like the herby and the greenness that you're getting, I'm getting it as like a green tea. But like sweetness from like lemonade. Hmm. I can see that. So. But with ethanol bite at the end because it's 51%. There is some sweetness. For me, it tastes like a minty sweet tea. That's what I'm getting. I, do, I don't get like a lot of juice. To me, it tastes like a sweet mint. And I can't think of any other agave spirit that I've tasted that would be like similar to this. This just feels like it's off on its own. 
Like, like some, some things that we taste and I'll drink it and be like, okay, this kind of has some things that remind me of this one or this one. I can't compare this to anything else I've tried. No, I agree. This is very standalone. Mm-hmm. And it's good. It's just weird. To me, I'm not expecting that from an alcohol. The flavor? Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Just the diversity of agave spirits. And the different regions that they're made in. So as far as uh, region, the bottle says it's from the Sierra Tepehuana. Uh, we were able to find online that it's in the Bajio Jalisco region of Mexico. Um, the reason why it says Tepe is because he's from the Tepehuano ethnic group. And that group only produces agave spirits for ceremonial purposes. Whatever is left over, they sell to Mesonte because Mesonte is a project that promotes small producers in unique regions. Yeah, it's very good. I can see why this was an exclusive badge for Madre. Yeah. So just hold it there. You can see it. The bottle, um, all our bottles look the same for the most part. Um, except this here has the sticker showing that this was an exclusive batch, but we tried, we tried three, red, green, and black. I remember trying the Raisia from Hapo. Hapo, the black one. Yeah. And that one was, for me tasted very savory. And then the Michoacan one also was very savory for me too. But then I don't remember which other one did we try. Because that was the green one. The red one? I don't know where it's from, but we tried it at Misterio. Oh, that's right. We tried both at Misterio, but I think we've tried the green one somewhere else, too. Maybe the mm, cool one as well? I don't think so. Okay. But I know for sure, because I remember trying the green one from Michoacan there. We probably tried both the red and the green one there, then. Yeah. Because Hubby's got both of them. Yeah. I feel like... This is just completely different from the other mesontes we've tried. So we went to Madre and um, Asis Cortez was there for tasting with Origen Raiz and Dish Bay. And um, we happened to show up. We were in LA um, during that weekend. And so we stopped in and there weren't any other people there for the tasting except for us. Um, Rocio, also known as Mescaltine on IG, um, along with her cousin, Asis Cortez and his tío or uncle and Ivan. And we happened to be able to sit down and discuss agave spirits, mezcal, all things that we love yeah. while sipping copitas with some of these very honorable and notable people that are highlighting good quality agave spirits, promoting the culture behind it. And for me, that was very, such a humbling experience and also very eye-opening and educated in yeah. and, and education. So while we're sitting with everybody at the table, uh, me and Ivan got to talking about agave spirits and how I tried a uh, mesonte at El Comal restaurant um, by Hapo, and I was describing the flavors of how savory they were, and it wasn't like anything else I had ever tried. And he said, oh, you have to try this one. So he pulled out this bottle and tasted it, and I was just blown away by the flavors, the freshness, the bright, minty. I just remember it being so minty even then because, and this was after we had already tried so many copitas. We were drinking puntas. Yeah, we had already drinking puntas and this just stood out. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't care. Yeah, and um, it really blew my mind back then. Haven't drank in it since then and it's continuing to blow my mind now. So, it speaks a lot to this juice that's inside the bottle. I can see why this was an exclusive batch. It's just yeah. amazing. It's been about 15 months since we had it last and it's still as amazing as that first time. Ooh, now I'm getting some juice. <laughs> you know, it's funny that I was getting mint just <laughs> when you were talking. 
slightly, still minty, but for me, it's getting sweeter now. It's just completely evolving and changing. Not completely, okay, let me take that back. Still minty, but the sweetness I feel it, that you were tasting from the get-go is starting to come out more and the mint is kind of going down. Your yeah, mint's just coming this way because I'm starting to get more mint. I'm still getting like that green tea jasmine and like sweetness from like lemonade. But I'm getting like, like you're just now soaking it with mint. This is really good. Yeah. Oh man, that smells crazy. I can't think of any other mezcal that I've smelled similar to this either. Just, oh, I love agave. <laughs> well, for me, the smell, like it's very reminiscent of other, uh, maybe raicillas or those weird mezcales that play on raicilla lines. Uh, but that taste is just different. Like that taste is very unique, but. This is such a very unique spirit. I can't pick up any other similarities to the Raisias that we've had though, where this would smell similar to. Um, well, you, you smell different than I smell, so. Mm, that's true. I, I'm not getting any, um, I guess maybe some subtle funkiness, but it's so far in the background, I'm getting more like that minty, bright freshness. Thank you for taking a sip with us. Salucita.